welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this jp infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a python project which is entitled as fraud detection on bank payments using machine learning which is an ieee 2022 conference paper so before seeing the execution of the project let me brief about this project from the title of the project, we can come to note that in this project, the authors have developed a fraud detection technique for the bank payments using the machine learning model. Basically, fraud happens in all the places and especially in the banking payments. So people will be using the bank payments for all kinds of categories like transport, health or the for, for spending on foods kinds of things. So in any places the fraud can be happen. So by using this fraud detection method using the machine learning model, we can control this kinds of fraud happening. So the card holders may improve their purchasing habits in over the period of time. So in this paper, the authors have used the bank sim data set. So using this bank sim data set, we are going to train up the system and we'll see the prediction result of it. So in the base paper, the authors have used the four model that is logistic regression, K nearest neighbor, decision tree classification, random for us, but we are not going to use all. So here they have achieved uh, the highest accuracy for the random forest algorithm with 96 percentage. So our proposed model, we are going to improve the same using the random forest classifier and we have achieved the training accuracy of 99% and test accuracy of 99%. So we will be implement using this random forest classifier. And before that, let me show you the bank sim data set. So this data set consists of the features of ID, step, customer, age, gender, zip code, re, merchant, zip merchant category amount and fraud class that is zero or one so here you can see the category as i mentioned that is uh, the transport food uh, home wellness and beauty so these kinds of things are available so just if you scroll down the, the data set you can see the data set which consists of around 10278 data set records of it so we are going to use this bank sim data set to train up our system so before execution, make sure that you have fulfilled the requirement that is mentioned in the requirements folder with the exact version of the Python and the libraries installed on it. So just copy the source code location, go to your command prompt and type python dot, python app dot py and click enter and kindly wait for a few seconds. Now you can see this URL, just copy this URL, go to any of your browser, I'm going to Firefox and paste the URL and click enter. And now you can see the home screen, the welcome screen on the project. Sorry, this is not aligned correctly. So just clear your history page. So just go to the history tab and clear the recent history. I'll be clearing the recent history of last one hour. And now if you refresh it, and you can see the exact thing that is this is the home screen a welcome screen of the project with the project title fraud detection on bank payments using machine learning so just click this login menu once if you click this login menu it will be navigated to the login page and kindly note that this is a static login page because you have not used any database in the project so just enter the default username and password as admin and admin and then click the login button and once the login is successful you can see the login success message and click ok now it will be navigated to the upload part where you need to upload the data set that you're going to train up with so just click this browse button now go to the project folder where you can find the upload.csv file just select it and then click upload button So once if the data set has been uploaded, it will be navigated to the preview part where you can preview the data set that we have uploaded as I intimated earlier, the, this data set, which is bank same data set, which consists of ID, step, customer, age, gender, zip code, or merchant, zip merchant, category, amount fraud has been loaded into the preview part. So just scroll down the preview page. 
till the end of the page you can see the complete data set has been loaded into the preview part which consists of around 10278 data set records now click the click to train or test button so now you can see the training finish message and click ok now it will be navigated to the prediction part which is the important part of the project where you need to enter test cases to find the prediction result whether the transaction is a fraud or a normal one so first let me show you with a few cases first let me enter the age for this case as 56 to 65 gender as female zip as 2800 this is a default one for the data set and merchant id let me enter as yum 980 657600 and category is es sports and toys category and the amount that is spent is 626.3 and let us find the prediction result for this by clicking the predict button so now you can see the predicted result is transaction fraud and now let me go to the prediction menu again to enter the other case so let me enter the ages 19 to 25 for this case and gender as male and zip code as the same 2800 merchant as 34 89346.00 and category is ES transportation and amount is 16.63 so now let us check the prediction result for this case by clicking the predict button uh, the predicted result you can see it is Ben gain so it is Ben gain means there is no any fraud in this transaction so now let me click the prediction menu again so for this case let me enter the age as 36 to 45 gender as male zip code is same and merchant id is m8188754 category is es other services and amount is 331.04 and now let us check the prediction result by clicking the predict button and the prediction result is a fraud and transaction and now let me click the prediction menu again for the final case let me show you final case with the age of 36 to 45 gender as female zip code as the same merchant as m85975013 category this time let me go for es foot and amount is 31.16 and now let us check the prediction result for this case we click the predict button and we can find the prediction result is a normal one there is no any transaction that is being classified as ben gain and in this way you can check with the other data set record that you are trained up with for the time or test data and I have shown you uh, two things from the normal and uh, fraud transaction as a scenario and uh, now let me move to the next part that is the performance analysis part so in the performance analysis part we will be showing the performance analysis parameter for free call effort and precision value so for the two classes that is 0 and 1 that is being displayed here and uh, the confusion matrix with the true and the predicted level of it is being shown here and final comes the chart part and kindly note that this is a static chart as I have intimated we have not used any database in the project so this chart has been predicted that has been depicted manually from the data set that you are trained up with so which consists of uh, transaction fraud and data set record of about 30 percentage and uh, bin gain that is a normal one as 70 percentage so that has been depicted over here and let me log out and this is all about the project fraud detection on bank payments using machine learning and thank you all for watching.